advantage. And certainly Thomas Hearns five world championships and Carlos uh, wouldn't be surprised to see him step up in class once again knock out perhaps a Bobby Chez or somebody of that caliber maybe go after a cruiserweight belt six world titles would be very tough to, to uh, defeat uh, and to overcome down the road for any other fighter I think so and I think maybe that's what he's looking for you know uh, Ray Leonard had, uh, had five world titles and I think he's looking to uh, uh, surpass that the first of ten rounds, Ken Atkins only been fighting for a couple of years and brought in as an opponent today for Tommy Hearns, of course, as he tunes up for the June 3rd fight against Virgil Hill. Well, Tommy, I think he's going to take his time here, uh, try to get a little work in. Uh, you can see that great outstanding jab that he's had throughout his career. Uh, Snake-like jab, is just uh, with a lot of power in it, too. Tommy slips on some pad footing. And Ken Adkin goes to work early on as Thomas turns well, a defensive posture. Atkins doesn't consider himself an opponent. He's trying to win. And he's uh, not doing a bad job throwing uh, nice body shots, trying to kill him up to the head. Oh. Yeah, but like a man against the boy, you got a feeling that Hearns is ready to yeah. unleash any more, but here I we think, go. I think, I think he upset Hearns that time. Yeah. I, I think Tommy was going to take him a couple of rounds. <laughs> yeah, Tommy <laughs> wants his respect, and I think that's what he's asking for right now. Tommy really involved with the USO. He's got the Thomas Hearns USO fund. A very successful tri trip to Saudi Arabia. And, of course, part of that renewed interest in the... U.S. military the world over. Oh, he just landed. Oh, that guy just landed a really good right hand. He doesn't seem intimidated by the power of, uh, of Tommy Hearns, but uh, well, at any moment you get the feeling that Tommy is going to say enough is enough, and he is. Oh, I think that he can do it at any moment that he wants. Uh, he'll, he'll press the attack. Tommy Hearns. Losses to Sugar Ray Leonard. He had the controversial draw, of course, in 89. Came back and beat Michael Olajide in April of 90. And then quick work against Kemper Morton earlier this year. So this is his second appearance of 1991. I think he's just he's trying to keep himself tuned and uh, uh, in condition for the big fight which is that coming up against Roger Hill while I heavyweight champion of the world. So in round one, Ken Atkins certainly not shy. He's come to fight. And we'll be back with round two action. Scheduled 10 rounder. Light heavyweights, Hearns and Atkin. Tommy Hearns really redefining his career, Carlos. He's doing a lot of charity work, the literacy campaign with Barbara Bush, and doing, of course, the well known work with his troops. And I think after fighting so many wars and concentrating on boxing for so long, he's really starting to give a little bit back, although he does have a big bout in June against Virgil Hill. What do you see happening in that fight coming up? Well, you know, Virgil Hill is a very talented young guy with great hand speed, and uh, I have to uh, say that Tommy's going to have to probably have one of his best fights in, uh, uh, in his, his career because uh, at this stage of his career, he's 33 years old, uh, even though he still has the punching power, the, the speed is not quite the same as it used to be. And uh, so I think he's going to have to be in great, great condition physically and mentally. Uh, and, but he has a chance to win it. Any time you have the power that Tommy Hines has, then you have a chance of winning that, uh, that fight or any fight. Body block by uh, Atkins. And, of course, don't discount any talk down the line of Leonard Hearns 3 because I really think if they can meet at an agreed-upon weight, which certainly would be lower than 175, it's a fight that I think would still have some marquee value if, if Leonard makes a commitment to come back. It's being talked about. Of course, that is down the road still a ways. 
Tommy Hearn's agenda does include a lot of charity work, a lot of work with the troops, Virgil Hill, maybe a six world title. And then uh, take it from there. What do you think? Two, three years more of competitive fighting for Tommy? Well, I, I think that uh, he's really <laughs> going now, borrowed time at 33 years old. Uh, I think the Virgil Hill fight is going to be a big, big test for him, a uh, big fight. And I think that that's gonna, really going to be uh, where he's going to have to, uh, depending on what happens in that fight, he will uh, make a decision about his career. I think that if he wins, he will move up, you know, uh, and I think uh, he should call it. And he think he think he win one more title fight, uh, he should get out of the game. It's a dangerous game at this stage of your career. Uh, you start to get hit a little bit more. Uh, the punches affect you a little bit more. So it's a dangerous time for him. Well, you've got to appreciate the fact the way that Tommy has never really played with the public. He doesn't retire and come back, and he's made his commitment to boxing. He's stuck with it. So you got to think that when he does call it quits, that will be it. So Tommy Hearns going two rounds now with Kemper Morton. It's, uh, excuse me, that was, uh, yeah, that was a few months ago. And, and that was short work as well. This is Ken Atkin. Main event, Thomas Hearns, Ken Atkin now into round three. Is Tommy Hearns calling all the shots at this point, Carl? I think so. I think that he... Uh, probably is trying to get some work and also wanting to give the, the, the people here a show. I asked, you know, this is for, this was for the troops, or is for the troops. There's a lot of soldiers here. He wants to give them a show, and uh, I think he's going to take this fight uh, a couple of rounds. There were a lot of times in the desert in Saudi Arabia where Tommy would just take off the old shirt, keep the combat boots on and the fatigues, and go at it a few rounds with some of the challengers and have a good time. The troops really appreciated that. So he decided to go at it for real and take on somebody and something more than just an exhibition. And like that, Tommy really displaying a lot of that world-class form as he works to left now to the body of the Ken Atkin now in some trouble. Tommy Hearns. As he's through, he's, he's main, hit. Naming his round, round three. He's landing some vicious body shots, uh, left hooks to the body. That's one punch that uh, Hearns has really improved over the years uh, from watching him as a welterweight and moving up. The left hook to the body, he really gets a lot of leverage in it, into it. You see that he bends his knees, gets his whole back and, and legs and everything into that shot. Uh, and that's a vicious punch. They can just paralyze you when you get hit down there like that. Inside, inside, right there, right there. Get inside, get inside. But Atkins is a tough guy, boy. He got hit with some really hard shots, and he's still there. There's the right hand. Ken Atkins oh, playing for all the underdogs in America out of Smyrna, Tennessee, the fighting policemen. Absorbing a lot of punishment now as Tommy Hearns really puts together the combinations. now going to take a look at the eye of Ken that's Atkin, it. and that's it. Carl Williams, the referee, calls it off. Stopped on cuts. Ken Atkin put on a good show. And uh, that's a cut. That's a bad cut. Yeah, Tommy works up a sweat, but that's about it. You want me? So Tommy Hearns in three rounds takes out Ken Atkin. And Tommy back to the gym until June 3rd in Las Vegas and Virgil Hill. We'll take a timeout and be back with more from Aloha Stadium in Honolulu after this. Make it 50 against Virgil Hill coming up in June. Let's go inside the ring now and here's Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, two minutes, eight seconds in round number three. 
J.J. Johnson, the referee in charge, stops the contest on advice of the ringside physician. The winner by way of technical knockout, Thomas Pittman Hearn.